through developing mm. and how a few brilliant geniuses were able were born who were sitting in contemplation and mm. they created the myths and mythologies mm -hmm. the greek mythology is very ancient greek mythology if you have read how the apollo if you see it will be very surprising that when you look into these mythologies you would see that there is a development of astrology Okay. Astrology is something which is very unique, yeah. not just uh, face reading or uh, uh, reading of signs which takes place in the cosmic signals mm -hmm. which man is able to decipher. You see, these are all the reading of signs, SIG and S signs, was uh, development from the scientific evolutionary growth. For instance, a chick, when it is born, it identifies the shadow of a hawk. Mm. and covers and tries to mm. take uh, it knows who's his enemies are no who has taught it's in genes mm. yeah. so likewise the fishers they would uh, migrate from mm. uh, uh, winter uh, when winter is going to dawn and the northern seas the north pole they would migrate to large uh, um, areas and come down to the south where mm. it is warm likewise birds were migrating yeah. dogs would smell about earthquakes Wow. And so many inherent uh, developments of human life, which was in genes, mm. which helped man to identify higher regions like planets. Mm. If you go to the Greek and the Roman civilization, you surprisingly you would find high development astrology. How they would cosmic uh, the Apollo. Apollo is uh, related to one particular planet, and Apollo is the god. Okay. Apollo god, and the Jupiter god. Jupiter mm. is another. Yeah. They are like if you come to the Hindu astrology, which is at uh, that time there must have been intermingling of these things ah, yeah. because the Aryan race they say uh -huh. they were knowing it and they were identified nine planets yeah. <coughs> with nine characteristics and they were able to see and the various uh, other bodies which were moving around they were gazing the stars uh -huh. and uh, they were able to know that there are twelve months they were able to identify twelve months the planetary movements suns movements moon's movements, star's movements, north pole and with these uh, they were able to have directions and when they were uh, moving from place to place they would uh, take the guidance of these planets and this uh, uh -huh. southern north poles and all that uh, morning star, evening uh -huh. star, Venus. Okay. So they were identifying uh, Venus with god of love in Greek mythology, Apollo with god of uh, and then Mars with god of war. So that came into existence in human life and how they were having certain influences on the human body and mind. And they believed that each one is a god by itself mm -hmm. and he was able to fight such a, with the other or fr befriend with another. And how the persons who were cultivating lands, they would uh, know that they are controlled by certain planets. Mm -hmm. Those who are having valor, they are controlled by certain mm -hmm. planets. Those who are having bad ideas, they are controlled by certain planets. Mm -hmm. So along with that, the stories also developed to make people remember mm -hmm. how the planetary movements would be there. That is how the Hindu astrology could mm -hmm. know Rahu was like this, Rahu, and Jupiter, yeah. Ketu, Ketu was, was like this. Yeah. They were uh, governed by, they were born out of the gods. Uh, the, uh, Rahu was a Rishi who was a thief. Mm -hmm. He stole the honey and he was, uh, and yeah. uh, it got stuck and he got certain yeah. powers and he uses those powers. So, th but uh, the Vedic mathematics and Vedic astrology is very astounding, which is true even today, to minutest yeah. degree. Yeah. The astrological uh, uh, sharp charts they have uh, drawn on the date so, of your uh, birth, they will be able to write your entire life and yeah. all your characteristics yeah. and what exactly happens. I was surprised when in Madras, I was told there is Nadi Shastra. <laughs> Nadi Shastra is uh, the Shastra where there are certain very great saints. Uh, Agastya, right? I think. Agastya, yeah, no, yeah, there are several. There okay. are several. It's not uh, one alone. Okay. Uh, I will tell you. But I have never tried it actually. No, no I will have tried it. I have got the uh, tapes I can uh, relate to you about the okay. uh, importance of Nadi Shastra. It's something unique, marvelous. You just is, is it true? 100% he tells okay. you your name, the date of birth, your wife's name, Nadi your Shastra. son's name, your father's name, your mother's name. What is Nadi Shastra? I mean, that's what mm. I'm coming to. This, he was a very great uh, saint and a sage. Mm. He is supposed to have been able to see the destiny of certain people. Mm. 
So this philosophy which he was able to see, he wrote it on leaves. Uh, yeah. This, this mythology thing. has got mingled and influenced even uh, this uh, Abrahamic religion, Judaic religion. Okay. And they begin to believe that the destiny of people is written on the leaves in the heaven. Oh, okay. And the uh, leaves falls and you die. Oh, okay. So, har it is said your destiny is written in the book of destiny. It's everything is already written. Uh. So, you, you see, we can uh, take out all the mythology saying it's a creation of fiction. But how can you take out this astrology which yeah. is matching with mathematics and characters of human beings? Yeah. It is being given color of uh, scientific color. You may be, they may not be too true because they are money minded. But who are truly ah, who have gained as uh, saints or sages, they were able to uh, read through your mind and heart all your characteristics. Okay. So you have inherited from million years certain characteristics mm. through gene genealogy and through your cultural background, your, uh, your historical background and your psychic background. So these uh, psychic minds mm. come in who always change destinies. For instance, Albert Einstein, he was able to see certain things in his mind mm. and how matter cannot be destroyed or created and uh, energy is uh, E by 2 signs, who would read the developments in the nature, who would read, there was no distinction between uh, scientific study or and religion or philosophy, all were combined study was there mm. in the earlier mm. times. This is a combined study. So these Sophists, the present Sufis are no other than the Sophists of the old age. Okay. But since they are, have to follow the law of the land, the law of the land which was at that time when in the Middle East, they were very great uh, Sophists at that time, okay. who were following the Greek, the Vedantic, the uh, monotheistic thinking of Abraham. And uh, Abraham, forefather was Nu, was a great uh, prophet, and his forefather is Adam. But if you take the scale of uh, history, uh, the Adam's um, ancestor is God. But beyond that, what was there, which you have history is available. Okay. If you see the geological history, or if you see the history of man, there were several, uh, beyond Adam, man has been in existence. But if you take the thinking of Abraham, who was able to identify the cosmic balance, the cosmic harmony, how the entire harmony is being controlled by a single universal king, lord of the uh, lords, which was unique uh, as a brilliant genius, as an instant he was able to give a thinking. And those religious uh, uh, mythologies which are in existence, the each is a separate god who had each, each department mm -hmm. and they were controlling, mm -hmm. they were fighting, they were having agreements. So he was, uh, was able to come up away from all that uh -huh. and bring into the thinking of monotheism of a single unitary god. Okay. And his grandson, his sons were uh, two, the Isaac, Isaac we would say in Arabic, and the Ismail. First was Isaac, through his old age he got it, but his wife was saying your work has to be carried on. He, she gave the Abyssinian slave lady okay. to his marriage and Ismail was born. So jealousy crept in and said you banish. God also says it's testing you, you have to overcome your inner uh, feelings, inner ego, inner uh, aspects. So Sophists were able to analyze their inner mind. Okay. What are those aspects of human mind in the growth? which are connected with the evolutionary aspects of uh, from the ape to the man. So the ancient man who is always, uh, this is what was discovered by psychiatrists, I am giving the latest psychiatric thinking okay. by Carl Jung, his uh, um, Sigmund Freud and all, they realized there is an inner personality of man mm -hmm. and how that in some inner personality of man is nothing than the old age, millions of years back, he has fought the nature, mm -hmm. he has overcome the nature, okay. fears, mythologies, this dream stage, semi dream stage, all this uh, pseudo dream stage, subconscious mind, unconscious mind. So mind he, they have all uh, discovered mm -hmm. and how that influences. How the culture and mode and customs and traditions have kept you floating. Otherwise, you will be 
your mind with personality yeah. gets scattered and you will become so uh, ill so in order to keep your mind within bounds and uh, your intelligence does not uh, go berserk and you keep yourself to certain standards of life mm -hmm. which has been drawn by society mm -hmm. these mores these laws this culture and these traditions have come mm -hmm. but the unique thing is these are the uni unique personalities geniuses who are born either they are born for the good of humanity or for the bad of the humanity like hitlers who mm -hmm. think that they are superhumans mm -hmm. he was influenced by nietzsche professor uh, philosopher nietzsche So the aryans are super race and all other uh, like, uh, human beings are required to be controlled mm. he was very much influenced with that philosophy like, see main camp is my life he, you would know, notice that uh, how much uh, influence nietzsche had on his uh, nietzsche was a mad philosopher okay his philosophy is no longer accepted but he did he was able to find new paths in the philosophical thinking from the earlier philosophers who were there that there is something like super mind and super consciousness mm. which helped even uh, sigmund freud sigmund freud was a jew he was trying to search the inner consciousness as to what are these dreams whether they signify mm. anything to man mm. whether through the uh, dreams the illnesses can be uh, found out or the got the personality disorders so he wrote <coughs> interpretation of dreams so he was able to interpret the various aspects he was able to find out from the psychological mind in the development that the first initial period is the embryonic period in the embryonic period whatever influences the mother has mm. is passed on to the embryo even the cultural shocks the mother may find mm. some turmoils floods these okay. it will have effect on the ch child's uh, inborn uh, at the embryonic mm. stage so when the child is born the boy the child's attention is totally towards the oral stage towards the lips mm. where it sucks the mother's milk through breast mm. so he far fetched thinking was he was saying that smoking is because he is not fully satisfied himself as again his mother's milk <laughs> 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 i think i'm smoking i was just thinking of cigarette <laughs> 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 waiting for the child to come back to us so meaning <laughs> has to take place at that particular <laughs> stage then the oh, then the genital stage starts when the toilet training is given and the child's attention is drawn towards genitals mm -hmm. then the stomach when the feeding stage takes place when the teeth and uh, the other thing come then the childhood stage adolescent stage teenage stage mm -hmm. manhood stage middle age old age during this he crosses through various barriers and various psychological aspects he has to wean through and find certain meaning in his life mm. if he does not find meaning and training and why man is been born and why 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 he has to exist mm. he will have some psychological disruptions his joys his happinesses his uh, griefs his sadnesses has got to be properly uh, uh, controlled and given meaning to it that is where the philosophers and the religious people played a very great role that man was born with in certain emotions of laughter grief and pain which animals don't experience mm. so here when the psychological mind wants certain meaning for the existence the higher minds were able to create certain stories myths mythologies so that he is able to overcome the joys overcome the fears mm. overcome the sadness grief he is able to accept accept the pain yeah. and the attachments which he has the desires which he has so siddharth when he was moved with the pain which was there in the society he wanted to withdraw and do meditation mm. so in his deep meditation he realized it is the inner impulses and desires and attachments to the world and he was able to float beyond the human uh, feelings mm -hmm. and that is where he became gautam the buddha 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 is it's also mahavir conqueror of the self the inner self has got the first aspect is the animal tendencies which you have mm -hmm. the ego the id mm -hmm. the the anger the jealousy the most first important uh, feeling is the jealousy, jealousy because uh, you want to possess your mate as an mm -hmm. animal he is very possessive of his mate <coughs> so these jealousies this anger this joy this happiness this fulfillment of pleasure excessive pleasures killing and even taking joy by sadism ecosism these are all the psychological aspects of life these have given way comes in our human culture and human civilization and myths and mythologies and religion so the extraordinary minds wants to find a path 
the path of truth Correct. which is eternal and existing which gives a man peace mm -hmm. and solace a inner peace to the mind inner peace to the heart that is what is known as halbe salim a heart of peace we need peace so the peace of heart a peace of mind this sophocles of the philosophers so socrates mm -hmm. when he found that the youths were all given to drinking idol worship and in a, no inquiry as to what is good what is bad mm -hmm. so he was able to philosophize that what is good what is bad what is evil what is uh, so many human uh, questions which were there as well, which were there in law and he was able to give to the youth that the eternal lord is other than this idol worship which you are kept your joys and pleasures you come out of it and inquire okay. you give up this idol worship Okay. So the effect was that he was uh, dubbed for having corrupting the youth, and he was asked to eat uh, hemlock. So when he was uh, in his prison, he spoke. Whatever he spoke was recorded by his uh, disciple, with Pluto. Pluto's dialogues are there, and Pluto's uh, work was carried out by Aristotle. So Aristotle was a encyclopedic knowledge. He had the knowledge of botany, zoology, physiology, chemistry, medicine. Uh, okay. science uh, astronomy astrology and he, he had a huge academics and alexander the great was his student and uh, they wanted to conquer the world but he was philosophizing mm. so the even today aristotle's philosophy is relevant so uh, you subsequently when you find that uh, after the growth of the modern civilization and the onset of judaism and then christianity and then islam the sophists were able to take out man from the dogmas and make him enter into self inquiry uh -huh. so the sufis were uh, trying to explain that what you are required to undergo is inner so cleaning, yeah. cleaning not the external Correct. cleaning and uh, attachment to your uh, cultural or uh, ancient Correct. man who is there so in each time in each period the, the questions before the humanity and before each uh, society of to their followers are, is different what is relevant to you may not be relevant to a mullah okay. so you would like to see sufism in a different context than what a mullah would like to see mm -hmm. or what a fakir would like to see fakir would be totally dead he would not wear a clothes at all he will have only a lungi also or uh, only a nuns when i'll say i'm satisfied on my own bank nirvana and nothing to do with the world okay. but you would like to be everything in the world at mm -hmm. the same time be away from the world and mm -hmm. achieve the inner uh, consciousness <laughs> achieve your inner peace okay. halbe salim i want to have a halbe halb means the heart salim is the purity purified heart how do i reach the stage of purity of mind and heart so you would become a philosopher so the islamic philosophers are the sufis okay. so who at each time question the dogmas and try to show to everybody that you are all following uh, following falsity and truth is this mm. what is the relationship between islam and sufism and can you have no that is why you are not as, as i mentioned to you <coughs> these great minds who came in they were able to uh, uh, conglomerate or uh, make it congruous between the philosophies of existent time of their time when muhammad came he found that uh, the religion jewish judaism was restricted to palestine and the jews mm -hmm. he found that uh, christianity was uh, again had been corrupted with idol worship mm -hmm. and 600 years of uh, christianity had broken into various um, uh, sects and subsects mm -hmm. and arabs had no culture mm -hmm. had no civilization his high brilliant mind when he sat in the cave for nearly 15 20 years or 30 years as a child he was uh, unique child he just uh, said this is a uh, idol worship is nothing is all false so for there are mythologies also there see if he has to carry out the message of the some which he is following he adopted the judaic or he was born in with the influence of judaic and christian uh, philosophy mythologies of angels of uh, heaven heaven and all that but his brilliant mind was able to see through all that mm -hmm. ages uh, things and able to even see or see like a seer a c e r a c e r seer a man who is able to foresee Force they are the persons who are able to foresee they are the sophocles they are the sufis yeah. so he was a greatest sufi by himself a greatest fakir 
He never captured towns and for a king, and he didn't want to become a Caesar. He was mm-hmm. a, he called himself as a prophet. He said, "I don't want to be a king. I don't want to be a ruler." But he had to give laws to the people so that the people can work and do things which are which will bring them peace. Correct. So he adopted the monotheism of Abraham, which was according to him is the truth. But perhaps he also have realized there is a cosmic harmony. and there cannot be a multiplicity of gods taking the jobs and fighting each other mm. so the, he kept the monotheism and said i am following the religion of abraham you jews are also following abraham christians are also following the abraham that is all mingled together then when it came to uh, arabs people he said listen you give up this idol worship this uh, that temple like uh, four squares where many were there in uh, all parts of arabia but somehow they had the 360 idols of all the tribes had been kept in that makka and all would come once in a year to pay their homage and that is a place where peace was being no fighting should take place there in between the moment they entered that house no fight no killing okay. it became a sacred sanctuary so it it was very handy for i am talking like an agnostic for uh, as a historian bereft of being a muslim or a, so, uh, as a sufi i would talk like a human being and uh, it helped muhammad uh, the peaceful that he said this is the best way to unite so mm-hmm. makkah and, uh, and the kaaba was a very handy for him tool to only to change the mind of the arabs that he changed the direction of kaaba in the namaz when he was saying when he could not uh, convert the jews and the and the uh, and the christians to his philosophy and pointed out from their books mm-hmm. that the kalki avatar i am that kalki avatar mm-hmm. i am that uh, promised messiah I can show you right away the Bible. I was uh, for my refreshment. I was saying, where when Jesus pointed out, uh, "Who will come, my Lord? We are not going away. You are destined to be on the cross." He said, "No, He will come. The Advocate will come. The Chosen will come. Chosen, the, the definite praiseworthy will come. The exact definition, the translation of Arabic praiseworthy in Arabic is Muhammad. Okay. He will come and He will do. He will decide the dispute between the me and the Jews. Who is on the right path?" So the first passage which occurred to him was, "You are the son of man." Ikhra bismi read in the name of the Lord. So as you notice, it is not the Ikhra bismi. Who is the son written. of man? Son of man is Jesus, no? Jesus. Son of man implied here he was a human being, not God per se. See the Christians by 600 years they had changed the history oh, yeah, to no, God per se. You, I am in you, and you are in me. But he Eat never said that he flesh. But I think he never said that he is a god, right? No, he, he. That was what was in Bible. He might not have said, but the Bible was written. Yeah, Bible was there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Bible says we have to go by the word. Maybe he might not have said that. He might have said he might have meant meant met, met, met metaphors. See, in poetry, had developed to such an extent, metaphors and similes are uh, are the figure of speech. that is not reality you want to compare mm. a, a particular thing with a, a, another thing uh, how it looks like that is metaphor so when he is born without the aid of a male co- copulation he had to explain mm. so he would say who is your father my father can be only god mm. not the meaning thereby that the god has copulated with my mother but now the christian meaning was the trinity of god was introduced saying holy father holy ghost holy uh-huh. it was introduced by paul not by jesus ah uh-huh. he paul only yeah. paul who was the first uh, uh, pope he wrote down uh-huh. the dogmas for the uh-huh. christians to follow there shall be no circumcision yeah. which the jews were doing the, the, ma- the male shall not wear a cap mm-hmm. the female shall only put the towel over her head like muslims were doing it paul. so here the basic philosophy was to go to the disclosure of the truth then embellishments were the law laws which the society required arab society had a culture of its own and so he had to only polish it to wherever was inhuman things had to be removed child sacrifice had to be banished slavery had to be banished regularized i can't immediately come and say don't but you can say freedom if you free a slave mm-hmm. you are free mm-hmm. but his revelation of the truth was that the goodness shall prevail and the evil has to be conquered that is what the buddha had said what mahavira had said mm-hmm. and, uh, but later on certain society requires that is brotherhood of man so brotherhood of man was not the philosophy in, in existence in the world till then so that is why we say till muhammad spirit is dark ages 
from there it, the learning ages he says learning is compulsory alphabet has to be learned by you but learning was uh, was confined to upper class either in romans or in uh, uh, vedic period and it was confined to only those who would keep it as sacred nothing is like sacred so as far as learning is concerned it has to move man has to move from one place to another so there was no question of being confining yourself to palestine <coughs> jews will confine to palestine and the later on the christ said already who spread the jews philosophy to gentiles but it said it has to be to all black white where mm -hmm. color there is no that means you united today much importance is being given to the present times of the unitary totality total unity which mankind has achieved in the united nations but where did it begin with so when you see the arabs going on conquering whole world and trying to unite man into man and give learning but along with that the dictators also were there many years dictators ruled in his name they spoiled it but the real message which he gave the equality of man inquiry into the to the unknown mm. the whole quran speaks you we inquire you mm. look into yourself the culture in and out mm. so what happened when the congo when the mingling of all the races mingling all the knowledge everything started i mean the so, sufis also become part and parcel of the culture of the islam yes, yeah. but they kept a distance because the law and the rule had gone into the hands of the dictators and they were the first to find out these seekers of truth and seers to behead them they beheaded the prophet's uh, grandson they beheaded his 11 imams and they became the enemies of prophet's family they did not want that power of god mm. to be in the hands of common man but it has to be only in the hands of the kings mm. they were not they were no longer khalifs they were kings so the wealth which was coming to the arabs in the hands of the persians the persians became powerful they did not want the wealth to be in the hands of the philosophers and the seekers and they would the show miracles that what is it you are looking for here is the sand come on open mm. it it's nothing but gold they develop that power mm. that you how it can be done well you have to go very deep into the psychology purify your mind and heart to That's develop right. that art of uh, changing that is where the alchemy started see the chemistry was in existence the alchemists believed that metal can be changed into gold mm. so most of the alchemists were sufis most of the plants which were being experimented with the juice to turn the uh, metal into gold where happened unfortunately fortunately happened to be sufis the uh, unani system of medicine the greek medicine which was being experimented for the well being of man there were the, the, the present science uh, medical science is only about 100 to 150 years old but till then the unani system or mm. the ayurvedic system was yeah. in existence so the great unanis were uh, the sufis the astronomers were the sufis the numerologists were the sufis so they were uh, so they almost they became like brahmins in uh, hindus okay. custodians of knowledge okay so whatever knowledge which they would have they would not write it down because the fear that the kings will burn them oh, okay. they would say it will pass on from the heart to heart oh so now when, when you see you find the fundamentalist who says the god says in the quran like this as why did he say a prophet at what compelled prophet to say because he had his followers he had very powerful followers around him like uh, abu bakar umar and all that for instance i was reading a book by michael cook in oxford university has written on quran what are the various controversies which are there how the quran is being interpreted in modern sense fundamental sense and other parts what mm. by that i want nahi kitab hai ji hum bahut nahi latest bahut achhi kitab bahut excellent see there for instance he says you the, uh, throughout equality of man and woman was not there woman was supposed to be subjugated to the man woman was no nothing in so many cultures and civilizations but slowly certain rights she developed mm. but in came to islam he said yes equal but when it comes to it if she is a uh, going outside the uh, she was to Brigand, B A G G A R N D. What do you call it? Brigand. 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 Ah, if she becomes a brigand, you beat her. Now, the fundamental issue is our right to beat a woman. Now, the modern times, uh, can you take it today? Women feminists will not accept this. Yeah. But the fundamentalists will say nothing doing. This uh. God's word. You are not going to 
but you should know that prophet did not beat his wives he had 11 wives he had differences <laughs> he did not speak to them so uh, who was that who was uh, responsible for that particular ayat to come was it his own creation or god's creation or a man's influence on his mind so many people have already discovered that umar is uh, his his daughter was a very very violent type of a girl nobody was prepared to marry her and she was divorced and prophet had taken her in, her, uh, in his uh, harem as his wife and uh, and such very powerful personalities of one prophet's mind would say if you give so much liberty to these ladies they will go back to peace after the word as god's word that they have to be kept see you have to look into that aspect of the mind so the fundamentally say, is but fundamentally is don't want to accept the hadith of the prophet's life they just want to say ahle hadith and the wahhabis no prophet's life you are not going to see we are only seeing the god's message that is uh, important for us so then how is it you saying sorry that's right please please please, please. No, no, go ahead. no are you saying that this particular verse huh? or ayat was actually invented by the prophet and not revealed was, by god that is what uh, no, what is your uh, opinion i'm not asking but i'm not <laughs> saying it's my opinion uh, my opinion is the influence of this four khalifs were on his mind so then the quran not is for what you are arguing that the quran is the work of muhammad and not of god it is the work of god and muhammad and god is one ha uh-huh. when he has reached the stage of truth, truth then, then he says different. my hand is truth my tongue is truth uh-huh. my ears are truth my walk is truth uh-huh. my speak is truth i am god i can't say i am god but i am not separate from god what i say is god so my word is god the atiullah so, atiur rasul so, so what are the common is? muslim understanding that the red now i am telling i am going mm-hmm. to the creeds and the ka the mm-hmm. sex mm-hmm. the wahhabi sex found that it was too convenient for anybody to uh, use the prophet's uh, hadith to protect themselves from whatever sins they would show so the salafis or the abd ibn muhammad uh, muhammad abdul wahab said get lost with this uh, uh, hadith <laughs> go to the basic quran that is how fundamentalism came in. because the ahle hadith were in existence in prophet period they were great opposers they had to simply lay down the arms and the fight against the idols idol worshippers abu sufyan mawiya and all that only to buy peace after all wealth is coming to us what are the reason the sawal ye hai ki aap ye keh rahe the quran was actually the word of the prophet and not of god it has not like a mother so can't to get a spirit guy lay the sir this bed with me moses went to sinai and the god's words were written on the stone and he got the tablets did it happen with prophet like that mm-hmm. it has come from his tongue mm-hmm. nobody has seen gibril mm-hmm. he has only seen the gibril mm-hmm. gibril he has seen mm-hmm. he has experienced gibril in his own way mm-hmm. how in what forms the revelations were coming either he would come directly in the human form and give him recite to him or you would get an inspiration total inspiration will start sweating when you see on the horse back or a camel back or standing you would be sweating and you will start uttering it mm-hmm. so it is a deep divine inspiration revelation is nothing but deep divine inspiration mm-hmm. and that inspiration you can't say it is something in human beyond human mm-hmm. or something which is beyond uh, angelic mm-hmm. it is something to do with your personal life and your personal experience mm-hmm. i will give say to you one instance of how kaaba became qibla he was trying to convince the, the jews, jews and the christians till he was banished from makka while he was facing to the jerusalem he suddenly a thought occurred to him if only if kaaba can become qibla how nice it will be to unite the prophet and the arabs god said i heard you turn yourself now immediately in the prayer itself he turned and along with him only 10 people turned these ten people he said they are going to jannat ashram mubashara ashram mubashara he said because they had so much belief in him that whatever he says is nothing but the truth he is the truthful the sadiq so when he turned the whole history turned the whole cosmos turned jahan huzur hai wahan cosmos hai jahan qibla ke kaabe ke kaaba that is why the poets write kaabe ke kaaba hai wo khuda inke piche pad raha hai koi ke in the life of malaikatu sala nabi फिरिश्ते और अल्लाह दरुद हम भेज रहे हैं आए मोमिनो तुम लोग भी दरुद भेजो सलाम भेजो सो दॉड इज सपोज टू बी रिसेटिंग हिज लाइट फॉर हिम दट वॉट जीसो सेट माई माई एंड माई फादर इज द सेम 
I am in my father, father is in me. I am in you, you are in me. When you take my flesh, you take my blood, you are part of me. So when he becomes part and parcel of the, part of the eternal truth, mm. he is the truth and nothing but the truth, when he is speak, speaking the truth, his way of life has to be accepted. So he was equally influenced in his thought and in his sayings, not by himself, he was unlettered. And he had, uh, even in wars, the war of the trench, mm -hmm. an ordinary slave, a Persian slave was trying to speak and the, his followers, very close followers, were preventing, hey, you slave, you keep quiet. Prophet, notice, stop it, come, come, come in front, come in front. Tell me what you want to speak about. He, he knew Persia. Uh, Salman Farsi. Farsi. Mm -hmm. Salman Farsi said, I have participated in many wars, we are not going to win this war. It is very difficult to surmount the enemy. The enemy is very powerful. What do we do? We have to dig a trench. The trench has to be from one corner of the uh, mountain to another corner of the mountain. It is running to so many kilometers and it has to be so much wide. Only then you can keep all your stones and stop. How do we do it? We are on rest. Start the work now itself. It appealed to him. So the mind, human mind, as I said, the seers, S-E-E-R, -E seers were not one. The prophet is not the only seer of the all. He is prophet of the prophets. That means, he is the seer of the prophet means, the philosophy of all the one like it, you know, prophets, he is ca capturing. The div divinity which is in working in the minds and hearts of all the people is working in his mind. If a foul thought goes in your mind, it, it crosses his mind and says it is going in your mind. This is a foul thought. Don't do it. So the, all his khalifs, or later khalifs who became all his companions, he would ask in the morning, have you seen any dream? Mm. So they would, do, they would, people would speak about the dream and he would interpret. He said, this is what is the answer. So that when it came to Azam, how the Azam, how the call of prayer has to be. They said, we will adopt the uh, clinging of the bells. And someone said, no, we will adopt uh, dr drums. Then a, a, a companion got up and said, I recited in my dreams. This particular Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Shalla Allah, Allah. This is the what we have to do. Come on, who will do it? Most uh, sonorous who, who voice. Who saw the dream? One of the companions. Oh, so one His of name I am not so uh, expert to give the name of hand, but I can tell you the story. Then he said he selected. He selected a Negro. Why? Because the feeling of uh, Negro calling or a black man calling, and that too a slave. His own slave, Bilal. And his pronunciation was not good mm. because he was a Abyssinian slave. And it is said that people, they objected, oh, he doesn't pronounce well, uh, uh, prophet, you see that somebody else gives the prophet. The Khawalis are uh, sung that that night, uh, when the, that morning, morning did not take place at all. I said, Who Bilali is such a great uh, uh, metaphor in Bilali. Ruhe Bilal, Ruhe Bilali, Bilal's love for the mm. Prophet was so intense and so much. He was his uh, freed uh, slave. Zaid was his, he used to, his slave who, who was given in marriage, who, who um, Khatija gave Zaid. Z he used to say, you are not my slave, you are my son. He would write Zaid bin Muhammad. In all agreements which were taking place between the uh, uh, fights which are taking place and he would sign on behalf of Prophet, he knew how to read and write, Zayed bin Muhammad. So he gave his own cousin in marriage, she was a beautiful lady, there is a great controversy on that, Zainab. But she had uh, her lordship, no ladyship, ladyship how she can be with a slave, Zayed, do you think it is possible, compatible marriage? The compatible marriage has to be seen, that is why later on Aisha said, when she was asked how we should make a selection, see the temperaments. Because it happened that the uh, Zainab and Zayed could not get along because they were temperamentally, they were different. She was a, from an aristocracy and he was a slave. And he was not good looking also. So she used to, he would come and complain to Prophet, this lady is making a hell of my life. Ultimately, he would complain. Uh, yes, he would complain, she would complain, both of them would complain. Ultimately, he said, alright, you separate. But separation was not permissible in uh, the Christian law. It was permissible in the Arabic customs. Mm -hmm. And Arabic customs had no customs at all. Any number of marriages, licentiousness, mm -hmm. prostitution, gambling, <laughs> drinking, is a law of, uh, of jungle. 
and you are bringing in the most sophisticated laws and you are addressing a man who is an ancient man and you want to give him Sophocles laws, you want to give him Aristotelian thinking, you want to give him the thinking of Arabic. It is not an easy task to convert a ordinary mind, Arab mind, which is a tribal mind, to a highly sophisticated mind. And you cannot gather all. But slowly it had to be done. So you can understand the extent of genius of that man to convert the people to a very high level of thinking of all at that time all his companions were no other than Sufis. Clean. He said absolutely clean, sparkling. But ultimately there uh, afterwards when the Makkah fell and Abu Sufyan and uh, was insisting that I should get the governorship. When he gave the governorship, the Ansars, the Madinites, they were very unhappy. They, were, uh, they said, what is it? We have given our life, we have given our blood and we are giving the wealth and the governorship and Makkah back to them. He said, don't you want me? You want me or you want them? Wealth. We want you, we don't want anything. So they had realized the truth. They, they were not having clothes. The, those who were sitting on the stone, 70 Ashab Sufa, Sufa, Ashab Safa, Safa is the stone in his mosque. They were totally observing his life and dedicated like saints and seers. Ashab Sufa from where the Sufis, uh, Sufism started. This is Ashab Sufa where the great uh, companions who were able to record all his sayings. Abu Huraira was one among them. So the, these uh, persons were with the high intellectual thinking and high intellectual training which Prophet was able to inculcate in their heart and mind. But Abu Sufyan cannot claim to be having the stature of uh, Abu, uh, those companions who were closest <coughs> to his heart who have changed into a great human beings. Because he was having wealth in his mind. He wanted to rule. He said, oh, what do I lose whether I call it to Muhammad as a prophet or whether I need to rule. So, yes, there is one God, Muhammad is the prophet. With great difficulty he said that. Ultimately, he put his condition and he said, I want the governorship of my son, Mahavya, of, the Jew, of uh, certain places. Ultimately, he became the uh, Khalif, of the governor of um, uh, Egypt and uh, Iraq, most wealthy land. And Ali was of uh, uh, desert Arabia and uh, Kufa, where nothing was being uh, grown. And uh, Ali was only uh, taking dates or even uh, he was a high great mystic, high scholar, he was a Qazi. He didn't have wealth and uh, power in his hand. He could only fight for the truth as a karma yogi. He said, I am a karma yogi. But uh, this Mahavya was a willy politician. He knew how to capture the minds and heart with wealth. He had money. He threw the wealth and the people were after wealth. Because once the war started, the pillage, the plunder which was coming, that was being distributed. And they said, very nice, I can be a Mohammedan, I can be a wealthy man also, I can participate in war, I can get this uh, plunder. So I could say, the spoils of war is the cause for the today's uh, problem in the Islam. It is the wealth. It is the wealth of the uh, Arabs. It is the wealth which went into the hands of the Turks. It went in, the hands of the, went in the hands of the Abbas. See the history of 1300 years. If at all the Prophet had sticked on to the peaceful message which he did for 10 years in Makkah, he would not have been able to spread his message at all. It would have been a very small uh, gathering. But when they came in in war, certain uh, sanctions had to be obtained from the God because he was creating a state. So the prophet was waiting, is God going to give me permission because all along I have been following Jesus. If they slap you on one cheek, give the other <laughs> cheek. If you have to take up the sword, then he had to wait for the God's command. God's command came. When they are coming to you to kill, you also kill them. No, it doesn't mean today it is relevant that I should kill my kafir, my neighbor. A Sufi will say, a neighbor is a Hindu or a Christian or whoever it is, he is a human being first. Mm -hmm. He is the Nuhay Adam. He is my Adam, he is my brother. But the fundamentalist will say, Kafar Kumara Volkar, I am taking up to sword. That is what Osama bin Laden. So these spoils of war and the permission to wage war against the non-Muslims, Christians and the Jews has brought in the cliff into the Islam. But who is trying to bridge the gap? It is the Sufis who are trying to say, man is the first and creation of God. 
he is the um, example of God is God in his own village man has been created one is equal to the other he might not having the light he is in the darker stage so Aulia Akram friends of God will remove him from the darkness to the light and they did it with miracles and other aspects they were able to enlighten the other mind with their uh, hypnotic gaze they were able to change but the fundamentalists who took up to war Mavia's for, uh, followers, Yazid's followers, Marwan's followers, and uh, Yusuf and Halaj's followers, they are all traitors and they were all great dictators of Islam. Mm -hmm. They waged war, they conquered Muhammad Ghazni, Bandar Gauri, all they were all conquerors. They were interested in the wealth of Somna, but it was not uh, Khaja Mainuddin Shishti. He said uh, he did not come with a sword, he came with only uh, rosary in his hand. And you have these miraculous powers which are able to convert millions. The what uh, Gauri could not do. So if there was a split in Islam along with the Prophet with the wars and spoils of war. Spoils of war is wealth. They are again going back to the pre-human stage when man was fighting for uh, his mate, man was fighting for his land, man was fighting for his... Uh, uh, for his safety, he was fighting against darkness, he was fighting in this mythology. So that is how the mythology has continued. So it is uh, the human uh, tragedy which we are having that mythology is going to capture the minds of human beings even today. Modern mythology has come. You cannot exist without a uh, uh, watch. I can tell you the time if I am an oh, ancient man with the uh, light. Yeah. I'll say it is around 5 o'clock. I don't wear it. Yeah, it is. So it is, it is your, your body senses will be able to tell you uh -huh. all that. But you have your own, we want to sit only at a table, our culture has become like this. We need a, uh, the dining table, we need a sofas, we need uh, TVs, these are our new idols. Our old idols have gone, new idols have come, this is a new idol. Mm -hmm. So this idol worship takes its form every time in a new way, new methods and new ways. So the Sufis are the one who are the seekers of the truth. And they can because be found in every religion. Not they can be of religion, religion but uh -huh. Islamic Sufism is with who wants to be within Islam and convert people so to what's the humanity. So the difference Islamic Sufism and non-Islamic Sufism? See, this question was asked by, uh, if you have read, I don't know, I, I told you earlier also, I told you to read Ghaus Ali Shah Khalandar's Taskirat e Ghausya. Ghaus Ali Shah Khalandar, Pani Patke, Pani Patke, Fifteen sadhus ke paas unho murid bane the. Ek brahmin ka bhi murid the. You read it. He goes to Himalayas and finds a sadhu sitting in a deep press. And he goes and says, Namaskaram. Hey, Assalamu Alaikum Bala Ji. I said, kya sadhu? Aap sadhu? Nei, mein musalmanu sadhu ka trust bain ke. Logo ko hidayat kar raha ho. He said, you know, then he puts a question to him. Do you find any difference between a Hindu fakir and a Muslim fakir? He said, there is no difference. Because both are seekers of truth. But when it comes to law and society, yeah, then there is a difference. When you come to Hindu, you have got the four caste system, Varanas. Mm -hmm. They have got in Brahmins and so many mm -hmm. sub castes. You can't marry from sub caste. You have to find Iyer, and even Iyer also there are so many sub castes. You have to marry only among those <laughs> Gotras, seven Gotras you cannot marry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Inter -caste. Seven Gotras you cannot marry. Yeah, so the society is different. Uh -huh. Seeking of truth mm -hmm. and philosophy and uh, reaching the heights of glory is different. Because I have I have read Sufi stories, uh, you know, but they always refer this one. I mean, look within. Look within. They always say, look within. That's you see, it. even if you go to Ramana Maharishi, yeah. he never uh, fasted and took a stone. He was not a stone worshipper. He was not yeah. an idol worshipper. He was a true seeker. He was a saint, and, and he could perform miracles. What miracles? Whatever word he says is truth. Yeah, exactly. It happens. Yeah. See, if he you never do the zikr. I am telling you, these philosophers were in account. existence from ancient times who were geniuses and that is why you have to come out from your body pleasures and body thinking mm -hmm. and look into your soul. There is something like soul. Apart from your body system, blood, uh, uh, fire, mud, and uh, veins and impure blood and blood thinking, There is something which is beyond the is, That is what is soul. The spiritualism is connected with the soul. Mm -hmm. The soul gives mythology, but if you, bereft of all mythologies, if you look into the soul, you would, that soul would like to go back to the soul from which it has come. That soul is nothing but God and consciousness. And you call it unconscious, you call it God, you call it 
super consciousness, you call it super intelligence. But then Azhar, why is it that many Muslims, they give so much stress to all these rituals rather than this essence? Because of the go government's future in rule, they have to maintain certain peace and law and Abhi, order. Abhi ke zamane mein shariyat ko itna zor dete hai. Isliye ke law hai na wo, law of the land. All right, we shall remove shariyat. शरीयत के चार चीजें रह गई सुनिए सुनिए नहीं मानो मगर उस पे इतना ज्यादा जोर देते हैं लॉ एंड ऑर्डर कहां रहेगा भाई बहन मुबाशरत करेंगे दे विल बी इंसेस्ट इफ लॉ इज नॉट एनफोर्स्ड इन द फैमिलीज इन द हाउसेस व्हाई लॉ इज ठीक है मैं कह रहा हूं कि दाढ़ी टोपी के मसाइल पे इतना जोर क्यों देते हैं वही बता रहा हूं मैं सी दे हैव गोइंग टू द एक्सटर्नल्स हां एक्सटर्नल जाहिर परिस्थिति इतना क्यों है वही बता रहा हूँ मैं आपको अभी बताया कि दिस एक्सटर्नल्स वाज दी वाज दोस पर्सन्स वुड फॉर होम द मैसेज डिड नॉट रीच द हार्ट इट रीच ओनली द एक्सटर्नल्स दे वर द ट्रेटर्स एंड द रूलर्स एंड द अदर्स वो बिलीव्ड ओनली इन एनफोर्सिंग द आउटसाइड लॉ बट इवन जीसस सेड प्यूरिफाई योर इनर स That is why the purification of soul is the business of a seer, a saint, a Sufi. And he also said, I think God is with him. With him, he said that. God is not. I don't know. God is with him. It is there. It is there. That is what Sufi said. That is what even Prophet said. But trying to imitate Prophet when he kept the beard, now the gap. How much to keep? 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 So the lawyers, as a community, the imams, the maulvis, as a community, would like to enforce their power. They would say, "No, dadi rakna. Jab tak dadi nahi rakhe, Muslim nahi hoga. Bolenge dadi munda hoga. Khala dar bolega, I pura munda hoga. But he will try. I will say, munda dunga. In bhau mein munda ka, muchi munda hoga. Muchi baali munda hoga. That is a khala dar. He wants to oppose and show it is not the dadi which gives you piety. It is the purity of the heart which gives you the piety and the heaven. दाढ़ी तुमको जन्नत दी देगी तुम्हारे अखलाक तुम्हारे रूहानियत देगी तुमको I know that Islam is made up of two components. One is fiqh and other is tasawwuf. Tasawwuf that is what? The fiqh is the physical form of Islam that you can impose upon some person. You can understand oh, no whether the person is following Islam or not. But as far as tasawwuf is concerned, that's also in Quran. When the Quran says that you have to, uh, you have to pray namaz, that's fiqh. Everybody can see that. You have to go for rosa. Nobody sees whether you are fasting or not. Be obedient to God. How to measure that? You cannot measure it. So the portion of Islam which is the sabbo, that is carried by the Sufi saints, mm -hmm. and that's something which is spiritual in, in nature, not physical in nature. So the physical form of Islam is with all the mullahs and all these. Those are those people are not wrong, and. Everything, the objective is the sabbo, and the application is fiqh. So, how to achieve the objective? It's through, it's through fiqh. So, you cannot leave a component and uh, aim to achieve the objective. You have to go by a procedure. Means you have to sit in a, in a car to reach your destination. But the destination is important. And the car is just a means. Yes. So you can have an auto. You can have a car. Mm -hmm. Imagine mm -hmm. it. So this is what is important. See, if you take Roman law as a lawyer, every action is governed by intention. <coughs> Actus reus nisi mensitia. Actions have to be governed by intentions. You have no intention at all. You have reversed your car. Suddenly the child was there. You took all precautions, but yet the child was run over by your car. Can you say you are murdered? But the murder says, if a man slaughter, once a man is dead, it is dead. Are where is Upuma? Upuma ni mana? Upuma, upit. Are kya mana ni kya yar? Ne aap ke liye aaye hain ro. Ne aap ki. She was saying, "You go up and uh, sit there. Yeah. I'll prepare Rupu Man. I said, yeah. 'No, I'm sitting here.' Yeah. <laughs> anyway, biscuits and khara will do. Very kind of you. So here, physical movements does not make a full namaz. The Maulvi will say, 'You do the namaz, but the Sufi will say, 'You clean your heart. Unless the cleaning, cleaning of the heart takes place, the intentions are purified.'" And the real devotion is shown, and there is no uh, show.
pride uh, and uh, uh, external uh, dikhawa trying to uh, capture the mind of others by showing piety then your namaz is gone so namaz is the sufi will say is to the purification of your mind heart and soul mm -hmm. which the molvi says we are not concerned we have to do ibadat we have ah. just done the movements of the body and mind ultimately so, the intention is to purify the mind i think that's so the, that is first that intention of every ah. action prophet said ah. the first hadith of bukhari is intention this is what the roman law also says this is what the english law also says this law of present law also says you did not have intention to kill the child so you cannot be convicted for murder now the other question is whether it was a rational negligent brain so you have taken all precautions you have hard you have looked to the back suddenly the child has come without noticing so this is not a culpable homicide this is uh, not culpable this is uh, um, um, what you call uh, contributory negligence but the child cannot be held negligent for contributory negligence because the child does not have his mind and does not understand so you can be let off on the ground that you have taken all precautions to when you took the reverse of the car you cannot be uh, charged for rash and negligent driving neither you can be charged for ca causing hurt neither you can be charged for uh, man slaughter nor you can be called for culpable uh, homicide amounting to murder so intention of each action is very important the more we will not look into all that the only thing you perform whether you are uh, having wazu proper wazu whether you are uh, in a stage of proper cleanliness or not he doesn't look into that at all he says you have to perform you perform it it is for the god to accept it or throw it the sufi says god will accept it only when you become a part of god hmm. you have to become part and parcel of the god you have to develop godliness in you godliness godliness is next to clean cleanliness is next to godliness hmm. cleanliness of body mind soul is important that is what is sufism that is what is the sufi practice please Thank you. 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 नहीं आती अभी निकलने के ऑटो इंतजार कर रहे हैं आ गए कब आए आयो सो आई डोंट हैव टू यू जस्ट टाइम शी विल पास कॉल देव लेट देव आल्सो जॉइन इन आवर डिस्कशन कौन आए मेरी सिस्टर्स हैव कम अच्छा शी इज कम फ्रॉम हैदराबाद शी इज ब्रॉट मी एल्डर सिस्टर प्लीज ईट ईटेबल्स दिस इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट पेट के लिए पहले छोटा फर्श ंगटेंस So but there are all, like, sufis exist all, all over the world all over you see so, so, so there are so many type of people the real now imitating with jewelry is there real jewelry real gold is there imitating jewelry is also there oh, yeah. so imitators are always there yeah. because they get certain yeah. pleasure yeah. they get certain following they yeah. get certain money mm. they get uh, wealth they bring more destruction so merely because false sufis are creating problem with the society real sufis cannot be thrown away Ah yeah, but you think आज के ज़माने with the, with the rise of जो बंदी and uh, uh, जमाती इस्लामी वगैरह तो सबूत का जो वो असर है वो कम होता जा रहा है का नहीं हो रहा है उसका population बढ़ गया है आप उसका का percentage कितना तो सो कितना होता ही है मगर I can tell you there are large number of false Sufis okay. pretensions because they cannot do so much of penance so much of sacrifice so much of love. so much of affection so much of dedication which khaja mainuddin and abdul khader did for 25 years in the jungles to attain this is a rabaniya fair isko chodo khao if you see that uh, uh, gentleman who quran ki wo tafsir karte hain qt mein itni badi daadi aur itna bada pet hai see 
अरे यीशू की क्या बोले तो रियल so they eat only one little you know, gram or something really? chip, but yeah, yeah, and they want like and they don't uh, generally expose to people they don't want to meet people because their their faces would be highly bright reflecting mm-hmm. emanating lights so they they generally want to uh, live in a soulless alone but um, on that point i remember um, something i read in There's a really amazing collection of uh, Tazkira. Um, Tazkira is a biography of a, a saint, a hagiography, okay. and there's a collection of uh, these short biographies um, called the um, Akhbar al Akhyar. <laughs> and in the Akhbar al Akhyar, there's a, a story that's narrated about um, Nizamuddin Aulia, who's a very famous Sufi saint. Um, his uh, shrine is Darga, is in uh, New Delhi. Okay. And uh, the story is that. Uh, Uh, Nizamuddin Aulia um, uh, establishes his center in um, this place called uh, uh, Riyaspur near uh, Delhi and he very soon becomes very popular and people start visiting him and you know hundreds and hundreds of people come to see him every day and he feels he's not getting enough time to meditate and to think about all you know so high philosophy and all of these okay. things and so he thinks to himself okay i'm going to shut the center down i'm going to go out in the forest and i'm going to meditate all of this is not working nahi chalta it's not working for me and um, the story goes that that same day that he had that thought he encounters this young uh, handsome man coming from the mosque um and he somehow inside him he feels that that person is a representation of the prophet muhammad okay. and this young person tells him that you know sitting out in the jungle and meditating that's fine, fine you yeah. know that's easy but s- serving the people that's sitting yeah. among the crowds yeah. of mm. people interacting exactly. with them and in spite of that finding time uh, yeah. to do your meditation to remember god that's, that, that is, is the, the real that. you know work yeah. of the sufi mm. you know that you can't j- aise khan ka ban kar ke you can't yeah, just wander off into the forest your duty is both deen and duniya acha you know, no, dunya mein raho dunya se alag raho actually it's very difficult right you have to be in this, in this life at the same time you have to uh, be you know concentrate on the spiritual right, uh, right. that is why bazaar se guzra khareedar nahi hu duniya mein hu duniyadar nahi hu so that is how various uh, oh. orders of sufi came they were musicians who were mm. conveying the thought of god through music they were poets there were so many types by which they were nakshbandis were calligraphers and designers the taj mahal is such a wonderful work it was a work of great art thousands of thousands of people have gone to give their minds and heart and their culture their uh, this one so people who were expertise in uh, adopting the sort of artistry in jewelry in drawings de- designs in ca- art architecture so sufis have penetrated in various um, fields and they have been serving humanity in, in whatever manner wherever even their soldiers also when it comes to fight but in the same time they are aware of their aware of consciousness of their aim. that is very important first yeah. aim is to achieve yeah. god god would yeah. attain god to yeah. live yeah. with god to mm. be with god to die with god mm. to accept the, to see that the god accepts them mm. that is their meaning hazrat junaid baghdadi used to be a very great saint everybody knows about that he once entered into the city of baghdad and uh started praying in a cave and people came to know that some great person some great saint has come in our city and he's he's residing here so entire city that happened to be the month of ramzan and the entire city queued up just outside that cave to meet him he came out he walked past the market he took a bread from some non bai tore that bread ate it and started walking everybody returned back feeling that what a kind of he is not saint at all he's not following the rosa it's not a coincidence that people like hazrat uh, nizamuddin auliya or hazrat uh, 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 moinuddin chishti moinuddin chishti right. came to the front and people could know that this person is a sufi saint it's it's an arrangement hmm. means i i my very personal kind of feeling is that 
It's not the mobile on which uh, which works as an ISD phone. It's mm. a service provider who connects mm. you to mm. the ISD or to the STD. Mm. Mm. In the same manner, it's, it's not the TV set which is showing you ZTV or mm -hmm. Star News. It's the it's a service provider which is showing. So it's a connection. It's the connectivity to the server which actually guides you mm. how to do and what you have to do, what you have not to do, what are your timings. So it's based upon his timing, yeah. which we feel that when this program would come, and we expect the TV to show the program, but in fact, it's the service provider which is showing the things. So it's it's all about the connectivity with the God, which which has got the implications. It's it's not the set. Mm. In computer science, is modern Modern well, I'm, I'm yeah. seriously thinking of researching into this thing. Uh, as far as the moral values are concerned, these all things impact human life. So are these some kind of components which in software terminologies we call about software services? So are these various services which are installed on human beings and do we have a kind of yeah. connectivity which connects to the supercomputer or super <laughs> server, what you, whatever you like to say? Nice way of putting it. Thanks. It should be convincing. <laughs> so the meeting is there tomorrow in another location, is it? It is in uh, Corporation Hamid Shah Kola. Hamid Shah Complex. You know, you've been there. Yeah, majestic, no? Majestic ah, but police station ke behind ji ji compartment work this be work work building work building one two shift hoti ji no because we are having not on the last and saturday sunday which we have the agreement with darus salam but we are having one because eid comes on saturday and sunday so we are having it on a week prior which is already engaged somebody has already taken friend to kal kon aa rahe hain kal one molana he is a mr ubedullah he was a manager uh, in uh, Indian Overseas Bank, but from childhood he was a tablet uh, Jamaat, but uh, after meeting Ashrafi Saab of uh, Pakistan who had come and stayed in, in Bangalore, Kachochi Sharif mm -hmm. so he converted into a Sufi and today he is doing enormous work of Sufi uh, and in his house is a small khanka, every day about 50, 60, 70, 80 ladies, children other go with their problems. He is also an exorcist. Mm. He is able to drive away the <coughs> devil, spirits oh. and bad uh, elements, oh. bad thinking and all that in cures. That's why I said you have an interview. Mm -hmm. So he gives good speeches also. So in, uh, in one mosque in a graveyard, there was a small mosque where he started giving speeches. Today it has expanded. People, uh, hundreds of thronging behind him. Mm. He's a very good speaker. So he gives very, he, his type of speech is conducive to you. Because it's very soft, it's <laughs> melodious. <laughs> not <laughs> <talking>. <laughs> uh, Five o'clock as usual, five to eight. It is Hamid Shah Urdu Kampu Urdu Hall. We are issuing our latest uh, Sufi World 29th, 30th issue will come. This okay. It's all on the net also. The latest tomorrow. Yeah, the latest tomorrow. tomorrow. This way I have given you copies only. So yeah. non-Islamic Sufis also they preach the same thing or like you know they say the same thing? See when it comes to the basics of God, see we, a priest may talk about uh, so many avatars, but when you go to a sw seeker, a Swami Vivekananda, he will uh, talk about Vedanta. Vedanta, yeah. So he, um, Sufi also talks about one God, but when it comes to society. The society has got certain moral mm -hmm. rules, regulations and all that the and Sharia. certain code. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to religious code, we are not following Islam 100% in India or elsewhere also because the law of contract, law of crimes, law of uh, so many legal uh, international law, business law, they <coughs> all the laws of all the countries and other things have been uh, merged and uh, courts or uh, parliaments have passed. So we are following only with regard to prayers, our services to Lord and uh, only these five fundamental dogmas which you have to pray, how you have to pray, whether by lighting the candle and uh, arti or by offering fl fruits and flower and water or it is by namaz or it is by joining the prayer in the synagogue or in the uh, church. 
this is what is uh, today is followed that is the part of seeking god is different but god is Ultimately, the same yeah, destination is same yeah. <laughs> so when it comes to islam they'll say if we have to we have to have a fundamental accept prophet as a muhammad as a prophet you have mm. to accept him mm. god may be same mm. so it is i may be an agnostic i may not believe in god at all i don't pray at all mm. but i may be a seeker of truth i am mm. believer right. in ethics right. in conduct That is what is communism. communism yeah, as a, what is the concept of hell and heaven? If one doesn't, uh, you are saying that. Uh, See, hell and heaven is there within, within you. you. Prophet says exactly. within you only. So, कोई ऐसे physical मकाम नहीं है आपकी निगाह में. अब मैं कहूँ कि ना टेप कर रहे हैं. आप कहते तो मैं आप पोएम If there is a heaven, then in the, the earthly conditions have all, all to be there. If you say fowl will be offered to you, milk and honey will be given to you. That means you have got digestive power, mm. you have got excretion. So in heaven there cannot be excretion, there cannot be digestive powers. They are all allegoricals. When you say hur, then you, are you going to copulate in the heaven? Are you going to have physical lust there? Mm. it is not that it is who is a symbolic method by which you are saying the beauty of lord is presented to you in some format you should not take it in the literal sense mm. when you say milk uh, the rivers of honey and drinks of money we, uh, milk will go cooked fowls is given to you god itself in the quran says there are three meanings of the quran which is uh, metaphorical there are certain mean the meanings which you no no man can can understand certain mm. words of quran certain uh, meanings are plain so the quran itself says in surah bakhar there are three ma- meanings which are attached to the message of the quran so it can be a metaphor you can't be having uh, all these physical needs <coughs> uh, reward you see for your physical <coughs> actions Hmm. of goodness hmm. you cannot be awarded in the physical in the same way hmm. last the, the, but the sufis do, do not hmm. want hell and heaven the rabia basri would no. say if you are praying with the desire of uh, hell heaven i will burn the heaven if you are uh, praying for the fear of uh, hell i will um, put down the fire, fire of the uh, hell hmm. so what you should pray for with the light The, so all the right. sufis are all the prophets and all the great men and all the great companions they did not desire heaven and hell they only desired yeah. the uh, merger with lord yeah. the soul should go and merge ultimately i must go and find nirvana moksha Fantastic. you say moksha in buddhi in buddhism and hinduism nirvana in jainism and fana fil in uh, sufism and in islam But if you want to go literally, some temptation had to be given mm. to man who was a uh, ancient man like Arab tribal. Mm. If I become a Muslim, what will I? You will get heaven. That was, <laughs> 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 least, that was not the creation of Muhammad. You should know. He was following the one lakh eighty thousand prophets. It was created by Abraham. Or this and it was not by Abraham. Also mistake. If Abraham had started monotheism and Adam, he had to create accept the Greek philosophy. It is the Greeks who had the philosophy of the heaven and the hell mm-hmm. and the angels and all that. I started my lecture or my talk with the ancient uh, beliefs of dreams, how the dream stage was there, and in the dreams you would see all these things. The fears were taking <coughs> certain shapes, but the love was taking certain shape. So these uh, mythologies and <coughs> myths. it's a myth it's a mythology but you don't go after desires when you say i don't go after desire heaven is also a desire don't mm-hmm. go after fears here for hell, hell is also a fear mm-hmm. god himself says in quran my friends are those who neither have fear yeah. neither they have uh, desires. desires so if you have no life or desire neither hell is matter to you nor heaven is matter to you what is important to you is the truth mm-hmm. you call it god you call it anything that <coughs> Some cosmic balance should, should come in your mind and heart. Sufism is not something which yeah. can be achieved by talk. It has to be achieved through certain practices. I think Sufism is more earth. towards Advaita. Advaita, Advaita, Advaita. Sufism is the Islam itself is an Advaita. 
But in Advaita, those who went for world, for worldly riches and mm. comforts and life and pleasure. And uh, see, when it said you should not have more than one wife, Quran says, but because you are having so many wives, you are restricted to four, but equality. But God, very next line says, man has not created, God has not created man with two hearts. Mm. See that I, man has not, God has not created you with two hearts, you mm. can't have two wives. But since you cannot satisfy yourself and your needs are there, you know, mm. war widows are there, their problems have to die. Mm. Then paralytic women are there and man's need are there, he has to, she has to be taken care of by another thing. So he, there are certain human situations which requires that the paralytic wife has to be taken care of by another. There is no medicine during that period. So certain, um, the polygamous system was in existence. That was a nature that had created polygamy. So but had to be restricted. So when it comes to true Islam and true followers, if you want to have, you look into that particular ayat which says, God says, I don't accept uh, bigamy because I have not given you two hearts. You will truly follow Lord because you want Lord and you will not marry at all. Have you already married? No, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We took some autos. Oh, you have come by autos? Yeah. I we thought you have come by... Yeah, oh, autos are very yeah, good. Actually, I have come by uh, the cab. And you all can't uh, fit in the cab. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but you all can't fit in one auto either. No, two autos. You don't have two hearts, but one chicken is two hearts. <laughs> so now there was a Abu Herera. He is always used to pray behind Ali Hazrat Ali. And when it comes to taking food, he would go to the table of Mavia. Hmm. <laughs> और नमाज का मजा यहाँ है तो वैसे आप खाने का मजा जो है आप नहीं मैंने लंच देखा कभी तो और खाने के टेबल पे जो ऊपर नमाज आप के पीछे पड़ेगी और खाने के लिए हमारा साथ बैठेंगे I miss that on lunch why why skip lunch dieting Dieting. <laughs> 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 Was that your idea or has been initiated by the Ministry of Home Affairs? Yeah. What is that? Dieting. Mm. No, no, mommy. I. <laughs> 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 Ministry of Home Affairs has spoken. <laughs> 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 mommy, mommy. Okay. She wants me to eat more and more and more. And she herself doesn't eat. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Actually, I've arranged for us to get married. Okay. You are alone, man. It's funny. The match we can play. As we wait, and we fix it. We both. 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 We Love marriage. <laughs> 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 but that's a start. Times of India may publish your time. Today the society is more becoming closer and closer. No? Mm -hmm. Man is coming closer to closer. At the same time, certain compelling economic situations and, and uh, sociological situations, psychological situations also disrupting man. Today's uh, article in the Herald says, about uh, speaks about pre-marriage sex and how it has become so common because of this uh, religion losing yeah. us. See, the foremost idea of religion is why if you have gone into, into sociological aspects of it, I would say sex has been the greatest aspect which has been able to bring religion because man wants to protect his mate. So he wanted to invent all these type of myths and glories and all by which his mate was not snatched away by his neighbor and uh, mm -hmm. fornication. If you see all laws, all laws ban fornications. So are you saying, Hagar, that religion is basically man-made? Religion is man-made, undoubtedly. 
because otherwise if it had not been all religion would have been one ha if religion is man made then khuda ka kya tasavvur hai phir khuda bhi to man made hi hai okay i am recording this youtube khuda kisi batao mujhe ke koi ne kaha ke maine khuda ko dekha hai hum sirf paigambar ke shahadat pe yakeen karte yakeen karte hain ke khuda hai agar paigambar kehte ke khuda do hai hum do kehte पैगंबर कहे कि खुदा एक ही है मेरा एक ही खुदा है और खुदा को उन्होंने डायरेक्ट खुदा से नहीं लिया पैगाम उन्होंने जिब्रील से लिया और मूसा भी खुदा को नहीं देख सके तुर जल गया सही बात हाँ। तो अब खुदा जो कह रहे हैं वही उन लोगों की शहादत पे करें जो हम समझते हैं कि जो सच्चे हैं हाँ। जिनको हम मान गए कि सच्चे हैं जिनको दिलो दिमाग से उन्होंने खुदा को एक्सपीरियंस किया है गॉड इज इन ह्यूमन एक्सपीरियंस it is only to make man is a, a true being a true loving being a man <coughs> wants to seek there is a soul in him the spirit in him which always makes him uh, uh, keeps him in turmoil is so the concept to, of god is also man made abhi to kya aap keh raha hu main so then then the why do you worship for instance or who, what do you worship everyone needs a god even if there is no god we have to create a god <laughs> that's, that's what even the communists say because we have to bring social order you have to bring certain cosmic harmony in among yourself you need a master mm. that is the father image the child gets the father image in him when he is a child and it is the father mini image which gives you the uh, law and order mm. we need law and order so society needs law and order religion serves certain functional purpose what the first the main function religion does is social law law and order and you become your own policeman to control your own self i cannot keep an external kitna maulvi aapko bahar se mare to andar ka aapka dushman rehta hi hai ke you would like to have uh, edipus complex you know what uh, the edipus complex is which uh, Uh, Oedipus is the person who had mother. Mother, father, no, mother, 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 mother and uh, son <laughs> had an uh, affair. It was a common thing which mm-hmm. is happening even today. Do you think uh-huh. it is not being published so in the good. newspapers? Yeah. It has come. My father has uh, fathered uh, 13 children with his daughter for 25 years. Uh-huh. No, but uh-huh. to come back yeah. to your point, see, okay, okay, your understanding, uh, our understanding of God may be a human construct, but uh-huh. then that doesn't mean that there is no God. Ah. Uh-huh. there is some creator ha so hamara jo tasavvur hai wo to insaan ne bana hua hai he, he may be in a different format than what we are doing we do not know uh-huh. but we have understood he is in that particular form who is controlling for that's what i started my talk that the concept of god in mythology was different different yeah slowly it came down to monotheism uh-huh. and from monotheism we are coming to a self image of my myself god god yeah that's that god I'm is within saying. me I, I yeah I don't know about Islam but in Hinduism at least when you then, spoke about this Oedipus complex no we don't mm-hmm. marry within the same gotram because you should not end up marrying your sister yeah, sister so, yeah so that's why they want this but uh, necessity but has made in uh, because in there is mother mother time not sister brother but it's also the same this thing right see society is where such tribal society is are in uh, arab society Islam mein aise kuch hai kya cousin se karte hai na Chichari okay. bands. While it is banned in uh, this one because yeah. the joint Hindu family recognizes the uh, uh, father, grandfather as the father for all the children's children. Mm. Okay, so okay, he okay. you cannot marry among the mm. cousins. Yeah, yeah. While in Islam, the first priority that was the Christian law. They had to follow the Christian law. See, the Christian and Judaic law was accepted by Islam with modifications, mm. and the Arab laws which are there were purified. Those three are similar. But religion. his idea was not to bring the law. His idea was to make you realize human God. <laughs> that is the That's God, crea- not the God of the desires, not the gods of your own creations as idols. Your own desire of money is there, Lakshmi, mm. wealth, uh, another that goodwill, Ganesh. These are all creations of your mind, mythology, which has given to idols. He says no. There is a creator of creators, Lord of lords, Rabbu Lalamin. Mm. There is Rabbu Rab hai, or a Rab hai. वो हु क्रिएट्स एवरीथिंग ऑन हिस कमांड कुन फया कुन उसके कैसे आ गया इवन द कांट से 6 6 दिन में दुनिया बनी क्या साइंटिफिकली 6 दिन में नहीं बनी सो देयर आर सो मेनी एस्पेक्ट्स व्हिच आर इन कुरान व्हिच टुडे यू डोंट बिलीव इट हाउर मच ये मौलवी में ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन वो ये बोलता है कि 6 दिन में अल्लाह बना दिया एक दिन अल्लाह का जो है 6000 साल है 6000 साल हो गए थे कि दुनिया जो है लाखों सालों की है सो इसका क्या जवाब है 
का जवाब नहीं अभी ये सब इंसान के बनाए हुए हैं सब सारे चीजें द मैन वॉज एट दैट प्रॉफिट टाइम वॉज अ ट्राइबल मैन ही वॉज अड्रेस इन ट्राइबल्स फंडामेंटलेशन टाइम equity good conscience and justice to hazrat aap ye bata rahe hain ki quran ke baaz ayat us zamane mein hain nahi quran hi keh raha hai ki insaan ke adal aur insaaf ke liye three basic fundamental yardsticks are given first is equity second is good conscience third is justice these are the fundamental principles for rule of law theek hai so when you are having equity equity balance of convenience which is possible you have to judge between man and man certain actions for that it is god who is not going he is given you only the principles and yardsticks and a balance and you have to judge who is right and who is wrong for that you are taking your good conscience you are not taking corruption you are not going to influence by mind prejudice bias all these things but you are only being by, guided by justice and good conscience no there is a key quran ke baaz ayat hai maan lijiye jaise ki khuraak chor ke haath ko kaato hame bata raha tha aapko ke liye wo aapko bata raha tha wo zamane ka wo zamane ke liye aaj ke zamane mein aaj nahi kar sakte badalna hai aaj to ab we have to have hospitals every town and every place अक्लमंद के समझने के समझेंगे तो एक फियर लाने के लिए हाथ काटने के लिए कहते हैं उसका मतलब नहीं है सारी दुनिया के हाथों को काट दो कौन बचा है अपने दिमाग में बुराई करते हुए क्या आप बचे हैं मैं बचा हूँ तो फरिश्ता भी जो है बुराई नहीं लिखता है जब तक आप नहीं करते लेकिन आप नेकी का सोचते हैं तो वो बोले लिख लेता है so the bad actions is part and parcel of your personality so you think that punishment is not applicable in today's age which has been so uh, that's why indian penal code has come ha to so what you are arguing is that some aspects of the quran the legal aspects may not be applicable it's not applicable at all it is not sanctioned of lord oh. if you if you do shirk hmm. only thing which you cannot do in islam is shirk शिरक करेंगे खुदा के जात के साथ किसी और को मिलाएंगे कहेंगे कि खुदा की मल्टीप्लिसिटी है खुदा के अवतार से खुदा आइडल बन के आता है ये दैट इज बेसिक फंडामेंटल अगेंस्ट इस्लाम आप किसी और पैगंबर भी आ गया है मैं पैगंबर बन गया हूँ मैं कह रहा हूँ वो भी फंडामेंटल प्रिंसिपल अब इस्लाम के खिलाफ है ये दो फंडामेंटल प्रिंसिपल्स के खिलाफ नहीं कह सकते आप नमाज पढ़ना पढ़ना ही है इबादत अल्लाह के लिए पैदा किया है आप पाँच वक्त की नमाज पढ़ना ही है नहीं पढ़ते तो गुनेगार होते हैं सजा अल्लाह के पास आदमी के हाथ नहीं है उसको सजा देने रोज़ा का रोज़ा का मतलब भी आपके लिए है अगर आप नहीं पढ़ते हैं तो सज़ा जो है अल्लाह देगा दो दफ़ में यहाँ आप जो है उसको ले आकर मार के पीट के जो रोज़े नहीं रखा सकते जक़ात नहीं देता है तो गवर्नमेंट ले सकती है आपसे गरीबों को बांटने के लिए रूल्स ला सकती है फोर्स कर सकती है इनकम टैक्स ला ही आपको थर्टी दे रहे हैं और फिर उधर जक़ात भी दो बोले जक़ात सीखे टू ले रहे हैं उधर थर्टी दे रहा हूँ and i am paying tax on these biscuits and this food everything, everything service tax my if you look into it almost about 50 to 60% of my salary is going in tax electricity pe tax de raha hu postage pe tax de raha hu service ki tax bhi about 100 services pe tax de raha hu and all this money is going for the welfare of man irrespective of religion so this tax was only for the welfare of man for equality for distribution of wealth yes I think we're yeah. getting late. The autos are getting late. Yeah. My other guest. Six years ago, I've been lost way. I've lost way. Hmm. Patle ho ke na ji. Yes. Arey bivi ki yaad mein abhi bivi nahi hai na. Three of them in line for a prize. Oh. Aap hi, aap hi are also waiting, na? Yeah. Mary. Pehle banki ka karna na ji. Australia ke mein. Ek banki ke aalat mein dekho. I've known this guy for twenty-five years, more than that. Oh, that's twenty-five. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Oh, okay. You're thirty-three. या 
Now you are 41. 42. तो दो साल अब सेकेंड तीसरा साल है ना ये तीसरा आ रहा है क्या वाह ऐसे चलेंगे मार्च में ऐसे चलेंगे और ऐसे तीस साल गुजारे दो घंटे में बोर्ड इज एंडिंग और ओह नमित यार आज बोल चाहिए कि भी टू मोर नेचर इज जोन क्रिएशन एंड व्हाट अबाउट डॉक्टर जकारियास क्लेम दैट ही अंडरस्टैंड द सुमेरियन Script and where it writes that Zakaria or Zakaria? No, no, Zakaria. 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 He's a Jew and he claims to understand the Sumerian script which writes that uh, the entire humanity has emerged as a kind of genetic engineering by the people from planet Nibiru. They, they, they <laughs> came here in search of. <laughs> all theory, no? Yeah, they all, they all came. There are a lot of videos on YouTube and. There are, it's all theories. <laughs> जाके <laughs> 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 He says, "Have a God is in the heaven. Can you believe it? God Himself says in the Quran, 'I'm nearer to you in the jugular vein.' <laughs> he is propagating the truth. God, Prophet said that the God is on my tongue, on my eyes, in my mind, in my soul, in my heart. And he says, against what Prophet said, God is in the heaven. He is the Zakir Naik speaking the truth. He may be very much alarmed with the principles of Islam, and he may be thinking that he is." He is Islam should be the solution for the world. But Quran itself says, O oh Muslims, you are only 10. Your 10 will be equivalent to 100. If you are 20, you are equivalent to 200. So the Quran itself decrees that Arabs cannot be equivalent to all the whole world. They cannot, uh, because uh, God itself says, I have created so many creeds, so many colors, so many for you to distinguish. I have created his mazhab. Koi ki mazhab kehta tha. कहते सिरात मुस्तकीम मैं जो है अख्तियार रखता हूँ तुमको अच्छा ही पे ले जाऊँ या बुरा ही पे ले जाऊँ सो वेन गॉड हैज हिमसेल्फ टेकन दी रोल टू गाइड यू और मिसलीड यू सो देर कैनॉट बी ऑल होल वर्ल्ड कैनॉट बी मुस्लिम इट इज वेरी अगेंस्ट द ग्रेन और द फिलासफी ऑफ इस्लाम ऑफ गॉड हिमसेल नेचर ऑफ गॉड सुनत अल्लाह बदलती नहीं सुनत जो है अल्लाह तला सबको एक ही राह पे नहीं ला सकता है वह दिन सरात पर नहीं लाया गैरमकसूब वालिन के दूसरों में बहका है हूँ मेरे पर जुल्म मेरा उतर रहा है उन पर मेरा मैं जो गुनाह कर रहे हैं उनके ऊपर मेरा हर वक्त के लिए मैं उन फिटकारे गए हैं जब वो फिटकारे गए हैं जो फिटकार के लोग हैं जो गुनाह करने वाले लोग हैं जो जुल्म करने वाले लोग हैं जो बदमाशी करने वाले लोग हैं वो अच्छे लोगों के साथ नहीं हो सकते तो दुनिया में अच्छा और बुरा जब है तो इस्लाम हंड्रेड परसेंट कैसा भल सकता है अब जाके ना आए कहेंगे सब दुनिया के लिए इस्लाम ही है तो वो कुरान के खिलाफ बोल रहे हैं क्या है वो शैतान तो खुला दुश्मन इस्लाम का है वो तो कहता है कि इंसान का खुला दुश्मन शैतान है जब शैतान को अल्लाह ने क्रिएट कर दिया है तो इस्लाम हंड्रेड आ ही नहीं सकता फिर क़ियामत आना ही है फिर क़ियामत नहीं आएगी अब अगर आप कहेंगे कि तब जाकिर हुसैन जाकिर कहेंगे सब मुसलमान हो जाओ तो फिर क़ियामत कहाँ रही फिर अच्छा और बुरा कहाँ रहा तमीज़ कहाँ रही तो लिबर्टी इज गिवन बाई गॉड हिमसेल्फ फॉर यू टू तुम अगर कुरान की खुद आयत है मौलाना आज़ाद कहते हैं कि तुम कोई मजहब के क्यों ना हो जब तक तुम खुदा को ये मान जाओगे तो तुमको जो है खुदा तला के अख्तियार है कि तुमको माफ़ करे या ना करे या रिवार्ड करे या फनिश करे कुरान की बहुत सिरे आते तुम सितारा परस्त हो बुत परस्त हो यहूदी हो नसरानी हो साबियन हो क्या भी हो अगर तुम खुदा को मान जाएँ एक और अच्छे और बुरे की तमीज़ करने लग जाएंगे तो खुदा तुमको बख्श देगा तो इख्तियार बख्शिश का खुदा के हाथ है जाकिर हुसैन के हाथ में नहीं है जाकिर अहमद के पास <laughs> वो लोग जो है अपना उल्लू बना रहे हैं भाई आई थिंक दैट पर्सन इज मोर अबाउट just the translation of various kind of history no, he doesn't have a view he of he was a own. medical doctor not a medical doctor he is a medical doctor he 
he's, he's inspired he's has he's anyone done research on him and he's on him no research. but he's gaining a lot of popularity no, that is common man yes, very popular that is common man you see who is also aisa hai ke mohammad ali jab clay mohammad ali ban gaya to mashhoor ho gaya jab tak wo cassius clay tha to koi mat puche nahi kahe mohammad is really good at public speaking and he has like the texture of his fingertips so you know there is he there's an aura हाँ, about हाँ, him so he is become very he is very popular and he is you know like he is very popular and he is especially popular among uh, sort of your yeah. middle class upper middle class Lower muslims class. yeah who कोई हमारे तरफ से लेके हमारे चीजों को मारे अब हम वी फील डिपिटेस्ट इन सिचुएशन लाइक इंडिया वेयर वी फील सेकंड क्लास सिटीजन वी फील दैट अवर जज्बात को मारे जा रहे हैं वी वांट ए बोल्ड मैन हु कैन स्टैंड अप एंड स्पीक सो दैट इज व्हाई ही इज गेटिंग पॉपुलैरिटी इट इज अ साइकोलॉजिकल सोलेज व्हिच ही इज गिविंग टू आई हैव मेट सो मेनी पीपल हु से दैट हां any scholar the best scholar of islam in india today is zakir naik like ahmad dida you know so he is following ahmad dida ahmad dida ka murid hai murid that is a jamaat e islami no no he is himself oh he is his own thing oh right 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 okay but then zakir has spawned many clones who look just like him this oh yes uska beta bhi hai 14 saal ka aur uske alawa hyderabad mein milenge ek shakhs ko वो भी इनके मोरी वहां ट्रेनिंग होता है जी बिल्कुल दाढ़ी और सब वही अंदाज बोलने का अंदाज वही मनते सब कुछ वही बोला ना कि तो सूडो फकीर सूडो ये सब चीजें होते हैं असल पे चलिए बाबा चलिए वो वाइफ इज बिजी अटेंडिंग टू माय सिस्टर और जो फोटो हमारे सामने है वी डोंट हैव अ फोटो 